Good morning. So, I have the hiccups. <laughs> There's a hurricane going on today. But, it shouldn't be as bad as it's been the last two years. A few years. How long has it been? I don't know. But there's a hurricane today, so. Cool. Alright. Well, guys, I did it. I reached the end of the Book of Mormon. The end. Now it's time to get into the Old Testament. Now this is my scriptures. This is called a quad. It has both the Bible and the Book of Mormon and everything in it. The Holy Bible, Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, and Pearl of Great Price. I've had this thing since I was eight years old. This sticker, though, I've had since I've been with the Pill Club. <laughs> Thank you, Pill Club. On the inside. Ah! Okay. On the inside, I have this little pocket here where I keep this picture of a girl wearing armor. This is the armor of God. Which I should probably explain in some time. Because that's really cool. And that kind of just gives me strength and hope. But in here, I have this little dedication thingy that my mom and dad wrote for my birthday. My eighth birthday. So, yeah. Awesome. I'm excited. And of course, we have our. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints logo. Let's go. And of course, for all those who may ask, this is the King James Bible. And I just found this really cool page. I've actually... No one's ever talked about this page before, as, as far as I can remember. This is to the Most High and Mighty Prince James by the Grace of God. King of Great Britain, France, and Ireland, defender of the faith. The translators of the Bible with grace, wish grace, mercy, and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, this is exciting to read. That's really cool. I didn't know this was here. <laughs> okay, that's so weird. She was just sleeping with her eye open, and it was so freaky, because she was like spazzing and twitching and everything. Sky! <gasps> Poor baby. Hey, Sky. Are you sleeping? Were you awake? Sky! Hey! Hey guys, this is... My lips are pale. Blah. Hey, it's Jasmine, and this is my... No, let's not go back. Blah. Hey, uh... Mm. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine, and this is my channel where I talk about mental health because my mind matters and I talk about it. My dog is growling at another dog outside my window. Just going for a walk in normal hurricane weather. Yeah. You can, oh my gosh, okay. You can definitely see the clouds are getting a lot darker now.
okay, that's enough of that. You're gonna ruin my painting. <laughs> you done? Are you out of breath? <laughs> The rain has begun. Yeah, we're gonna kick you outside real soon, okay? We're gonna kick you outside and you ain't coming back. <laughs> so there's a hurricane going on. And hurricane means there's a possibility the power could go out. And I have cookie dough in the fridge. So that means I gotta get this eaten. time for our uh, our daily gratitude let's get to it number one number one I was productive today I gave sky a bath I put away my laundry I went for a walk I did Number two, me and my brother watched uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths with all the DC superhero uh, super heroes. Um, and yeah, so just getting to spend some time with my brother. Uh, he leaves this weekend, so we gotta get all our shows done. What are your three gratitudes for today, Sky? Let's see, you got a bath, you got cuddles, and you went for a walk. Yes, you did. You love mommy time, don't you? Yeah, number three is going to be sky again. Okay, now it's time for our scripture. I finished the Book of Mormon today, and... As I was reading it, I read a verse that I thought I should share with you. So this is in the very last chapter 
in the Book of Mormon. It's in the Book of Moroni, chapter 10. And this is two verses. I'm going to do verse 20 and verse 23. Wherefore, there must be faith. And if there must be faith, there must also be hope. And if there must be hope, there must also be charity. And Christ truly said unto our fathers, If ye have faith, ye can do all things which are expedient unto me. So, yeah, basically just, you know, if you have faith, you have to have hope. And to have hope, you have to have charity, which is the pure love of Christ. And then through faith, you can do all things according to God's will. Like I've said before, you have to have the faith that God is going to grant you what you need and what you're asking him for, while also being willing to relinquish what you want to accept what God wants. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Good night.